because you Nestor Lacanto fans are going to like this because at this hour, travel trade representatives are getting the opportunity to experience our island's current product offering, attractions, optional tours, and activities. To better support the demand from the Japan market, Nestor is stationed dutifully down at the Hyatt Regency on Tumon Bay, and he is at the Guam trade show. Nestor, what can you tell us about the pace and the tone there? All right, Jace, thanks. Uh, we are here at the Hyatt Regency Guam with a man who needs no introduction, uh, former Governor Carl Guterres, who is currently the president and CEO of the Guam Visitors Bureau. Sir, thanks for joining us. No, thank you. Thank you very much. This is a very important day today. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the travel trade show. Yeah, well, you know, this travel trade show, uh, when Japan now is not required to get a test before coming to the United States, Guam included, uh, we're celebrating our 55th anniversary of the first flight of Pan American Airways that came to Guam on May 1st, 1967. That was the start of our tourism, which took Japan here first. So they were our mainstay for a long time. And so bringing them here to see that we are now bringing that same reason of how we started tourism 55 years ago, and that's going to be their cultural centric, bring the island's beauty and the people and you know and the culture back to their thinking so bringing them here is kind of inculcating in their mind that guam is going to rediscover the very thing that we offered in 55 years ago and so we've got all these travel agents here and from japan and uh, we've got the consul general from japan kobayashi san who's here just really pushing helping us push the pan market to hurry up and begin uh, coming to guam Tell us about the importance of having a FAM tour, like what you're doing today. Well, these are the people that are either, uh, you know, the independent free travelers or their travel agents itself. They need to come here and feel, feel Guam, not only from the perspective of the beauty, but actually speaking with people, feeling that Guam really is a friendly island and that the people of Guam are not averse to having tourism here uh, simply because tourism works for, for, for the people of Guam. And that's what we've been doing at GVB to make sure that the mayors are in there, uh, making sure that the people are happy out there. And so having done that, when the tourists come to the south, for example, they'll be happy to be greeted by happy uh, residents. And we also have over two dozen, I believe, um, presenters here. It's also an opportunity for the tour operators to showcase their wares? Absolutely. They're here. They're all displaying their, their wares uh, from the from duty-free shoppers and all the way down to the food truck kind. They're, they're here. And so these people are going to take back every little aspect of what Guam is offering. And it's up to them now to kind of highlight that in their own media way. So uh, hopefully that uh, what we've done today and tonight, uh, I hope that you come, come and see their, their, their excitement tonight at our reception uh, at the NICO at 6.30. All right. Uh, this is uh, GVB President and CEO Carl Gutierrez uh, reporting about the uh, travel trade show for the Go Go Guam Tour. I'm Nestor Canto. Back to you in the studio, Jace. All right. Thank so you. Thanks so much, Ness. Reporting, of course, live, as he said, from Tumon Bay. Obviously, a lot of smiles there and a very, very good tempo, uh, good feelings all around as we welcome our brothers and sisters from uh, Japan and the tourism industry, but obviously very, very critical towards the economic future of Guam. So Nestor's going to have more on that tonight at 6 on primetime, of course. He'll have full details. Well, please stay tuned, my friends, because when Hotspot continues, I'm going to tell you about the Guam National Guard setting up a new space control squadron. Stay tuned. Space Force coming at you right after this.